welcome back to Try It Tuesday. This week will be our last Try It Tuesday of the summer and we thought we'd go out with a bark. <laughs> um, we're going to be utilizing the corks that you may have gathered over the summer to make this really cute pet corky. It's a little doggy made, off, made out of corks and thumbtacks. So let me, hopefully you got a nice zoom in on that. Uh, let me show you uh, what the kits will will have in them. And again, uh, kits will be available on Tuesday starting at 9 a.m. And inside of your kit, you will find two uh, corks, uh, a piece of felt to do the ears for your dog, a toothpick to join the corks together. You'll find four of these round thumbtacks for the, for the legs. Uh, one of these very cool, unique, uh, tail style thumbtacks for the tail and then a gold thumbtack for the nose and then at home <clears throat> what you'll need to supply is a marker of some sort something to cut your cork with now uh, this this craft is not for kids uh, you want to make sure you have an adult present because you will have to cut the cork with a sharp object as well as the thumbtacks that are in your kit are sharp as well. So make sure you have an adult present working on this craft. And then you'll need some kind of little glue just to glue your ears on. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna grab one of your corks and you're going to cut it right down the center in half. Okay, and you wanna be sure you're very careful and slow with this. So you can kind of do like a saw effect. I'm turning the cork and just sliding it straight down. No rush, better to be safe. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna get a little, <clears throat> I don't wanna cut my table here. I'm gonna get a little cutting board to place that on so I don't cut my table. And then once you're about halfway through it should be able to split there we go so now I have two half pieces <clears throat> the next thing you're gonna do is get the full piece here get your toothpick and you're gonna break it into about four pieces because you only need about one-fourth of it to connect the head to the body this is probably the most difficult part um, because sometimes the toothpick will break that's why you have these extra pieces so hopefully you can see this I'm just placing the toothpick um, where I think I want to connect the head to on the large piece then I'm getting the flat side the smooth side for the head and facing that forward and then I'm just gonna push down on my table until they join together there you go so they stay nice and solid like this. If your toothpick, toothpick breaks, you can use one of the other pieces here. So the next step is I'm going to attach the legs. So underneath, you're going to go ahead and place the four legs to your dog. The cool, other cool thing about this project is if it's not placed just right, if no, no harm, no foul, you can just pull it back out and replace it back in, in the right position. So let's see if he stands nicely. Oh, he's a little off there. I'm gonna pull this leg out, reposition it so he stands without wobbling. There we go. And then <clears throat> I'm gonna use this gold one here for his nose. And then this guy here for his tail. All right, and then one of the items that I forgot to say that you needed here is a scissors. So we're gonna pause and I'm gonna grab the scissors. Okay, perfect, so now I have my scissors and then we're just gonna take our felt pieces and cut out some ears. Um, and they can be however uh, long, whatever shape you like. And we're gonna pause right here Okay, so now that you have your ears cut out, I thought I'd pause there so you didn't have to watch me do that. Uh, you're just gonna take your glue, 
whoops, put a little dab on the top where you want your ears situated. There we go. There's one, I'm going to have to add some more glue here. You can use Elmer's glue or hot glue. Uh, glue stick, probably not the best for this project, uh, but Elmer's glue or hot glue will work great. And then your last step is you're going to give them some cute little eyes here. And actually, I lied. That's not the last step. Once you have your doggy all made, you're going to name him. <laughs> you're going to name him. You're going to take a picture of him and you're going to post him on social media. And you're going to show me what you made. Thank you for participating with Try It Tuesday all summer long. And I hope to see you again in the fall. Aloha.